Hey guys, I'm Elizabeth and today I am going to be talking about sort of fashion, sort of historical fashion. Um, this is going to be hopefully a new channel. Um, I have another channel called Legendary Part of Studios where I mostly talk about books and things. Um, I don't post on there very often because I'm either busy or I kind of forget about it, I'm going to be honest. But I'm hoping to pick that up better this year. And if you want to go check that out, if you're into books, you can. Um, probably no one will be watching this anytime soon because um, there's hardly anyone on my other channel. So just like 10 people and they're just people that are related to me. So, you know, and... Um, so yeah, today we're going to be talking about historical fashion and sewing and different things and this channel and what it's going to be. So let's just get into that. So first I would like to talk about fashion and where I what I would like to do in the future. Um, so I've been getting into historical fashion and I've been wanting to sew and stuff like that and I am currently trying to make an 1890s walking skirt. Um, I'm stuck on a part and it's been a long time and I'm a slightly lazy person so I haven't gotten through that part that I'm stuck on and I'm only on the mock-up so it's not good but we'll talk more about that later. Um, I want to slowly make my wardrobe more like historically inspired like I want it to be kind of Edwardian inspired a lot of it maybe a little bit of vintage 1940s kind of or 1920s and that kind of stuff maybe a little bit medieval things too but I want to try to have like a non-modern wardrobe like I will wear pants and stuff like that because I do do things like go outside to, and like go in the woods for hikes and stuff like that. And I do do things in my life sometimes where I need to wear those kinds of clothes. But I want to try and attempt to be more historical in my outfits and not just wear the latest fashion and what's in because I honestly hate the latest fashion and what's currently trending in fashion at the moment. So... I mean, I always kind of hate. And then other fashion things that I've been obsessed with in the past and I still love are t-shirts and plaid shirts. So that will never go away. I'll be always, I'll always end up wearing a t-shirt or a plaid shirt at some time because I have so many t-shirts and so many plaid shirts. It's not even funny. And so, yeah. And none of my t-shirts are plain except for like two. So there's that. And another um, problem with this is that all I have is t-shirts, plaid shirts, like three pants, a couple of dresses and stuff, but like I basically don't have anything for a historically inspired wardrobe. I have one vest that I got recently because of this, one skirt that's that I don't like, and one shirt that I also don't like. Because another thing that I want to try and do is go for items of clothing. First off, I want to buy used cl clothing or make my own clothing. I don't want to buy any fast fashion clothing. And I want to attempt to not buy synthetic clothing. Like the clothing that is fake, made out of plastic. And I want to buy natural fiber clothing. And like, you know, like wool and linen and like stuff that's the real fabric and not plastic. Because not only does it breathe better, but it's much better. And it's, I just, yeah, there's just a whole thing behind that. And I personally think that that's better. And yeah. With that out of the way, I don't really have anything else to say about that. If you have questions, you can comment below. I'm going to talk about this channel. I will tell you some channel name ideas. This might have a current channel name, but it's just temporary until 
I figure out exactly what it's going to be called. I'm going to give you some suggestions later at the end of the video and you can tell me if you think any of them are good or bad. Um, but what I want to do is make a channel for my sewing endeavors. Um, I want to basically make a, um, be basically become a cost tuber if I can. Um, obviously this channel isn't going to actually get anywhere and I'm not going to get any viewers or subscribers, but I want to make videos anyways because I think it's fun and I want to show you my sewing process of things and inspire other people to want to do this. Um, my inspiration for the specific era that I am in, which is Edwardian Victorian, came from Bernadette Banner. One time I was just perusing YouTube, you know, just watching random videos, and I came upon Bernadette Banner's video that she did last year of, like, going through ho modern Halloween costumes and seeing how historically accurate they were. And, um, I just, like, loved that video, and then I just, like, was, like, I checked out her channel, which I don't always check out people's channels. I just kind of watch videos randomly a lot of times, except for people that I'm already subscribed to. And then, um, I was just like, I'm going to check this person's channel out. And then, like, I was instantly in love, and I was like, this is exactly what I want to do. Like, ah, I love it. And so... And then there's a bunch of other people that I've found because of her and since then because I've slowly been getting into the, um, the costuber world and it's great. So I'll link some people down below if you're new, um, at this like I am or if you just want to find people on YouTube that do historical costuming. Um, I find that they're really, they make really nice videos and they're fun to watch and, I currently can't stop watching them and you know it's not always the greatest because I do want to you know read some books but I am reading too so it's okay but anyways this channel is going to be for um sewing so hopefully if I can get back into this and figure out this problem that I'm having um I can continue on sewing my 1890s walking skirt um I, um, I also plan to do like a whole outfit so I'm going to tell you some things that I plan, that I, my dreams for sewing in the future of things that I would love to make someday if this falls through. If this, I can't talk, if this goes through the things that I want to make someday. So a disclaimer, I say if this goes through because I always find some hobby, do it and love it for like a month and then... And then I'm done with it, and I'm like, I'm sick of this, I want to do something else. And then, like, a few months later, I'll be back into that same hobby or whatever. I always, like, I'm always doing some kind of something to do with DIY. Do this stuff with paper. I've done some crocheting and knitting, although I sucked at it, and I never actually made anything. I've always kind of done a little bit of that here and there. I've done sewing before in the past. Bookmaking is something I'm currently doing. All this stuff, like, I always get into something. And I feel like sewing is actually really fun and that I could actually, like, dive deeper into this and actually, like, do this if I make myself try and do this. Like, yeah. So I have a lot of different things that I think would be really cool to make someday if, if this, if I can get better at sewing and this can work out. I also, um, got some fabric, finally for my 1890s walking skirt. It's a wool, a checked wool, and it's from Edinburgh, and I'm so excited it's gonna come next week. Uh, and that means this is actually happening, so I'm so excited, because all I have right now is mock-up fabric that I'm, that I started working on, and you know, I'm excited to maybe make this a reality. Also, with this, I would like to make an Edwardian blouse, um, a vest, I also actually got a hat, a boater hat, the other day. It's going to come next week, too, and I'm so excited. And maybe, I'm not sure, but maybe some kind of a coat or, like, a cape or something to go with it. I'm not sure yet. And then, after I'm done with the Victorian thing, I think some other things that would be really fun to make someday are a medieval dress. 
not really sure exactly which period yet. Probably one with like the long sleeve, that'd be really cool. Or even, I don't know, I like anything medieval. Um, that's probably another area that I really enjoy. Um, I also think it would be really cool to make like a cape, like a big giant medieval cloak cape thing with the hood and everything. I just, I don't know why I always thought that would be so cool. And also, a like Civil War era dress would be really fun to make. And basically, I, I'll basically make an something from any area except for um like the um elizabethan and tudor area i'm not super into that i don't know that just has never really interested me that much um but i would i would also think it would be cool to make a regency gown i have one that i made in like 2016 it doesn't fit me anymore and it's not that great because i was making it with someone else who's good at sewing and I just suck at sewing so it's like it's okay but like I feel like I can make a much cooler gown and I have like the, the jacket thing with it too but it's not that great I feel like so I feel like I could make something much better and that'd be kind of cool but that's kind of like way off into the future like I don't care about that quite as much because there are some other time periods I would like to explore and that I enjoy more like right now I'm currently really really into Edwardian, Victorian, anything Victorian and I have like four different books on Edwardian fashion, Victorian fashion so like I'm just like obsessed with that time period right now. Um, it would also be really cool to make, I don't know, I can make like anything but something that I think is like my dream gown to make is um, it's actually a gown from a movie. I know this is like really stupid. Well, it's technically a mini series, but um, you probably all know who Charles Dickens is. He wrote a book called Little Dorrit. Um, haven't actually read the whole book. I started it, and I never actually like got through it because I don't know. And it's Charles Dickens, so it's hard to read. But this year is the year that I'm gonna finally finish it, hopefully. So I do plan to do that this year, but there's a mini series by BBC of Little Dorrit, and that is my favorite period drama ever. I love it so much. Like it's just so amazing, and I can't wait to rewatch it again. Cause when I finish the book, if I do, I'm gonna rewatch it, and I just I think it's so well done, and the story's so good, and I just love Charles Dickens to begin with. But that's my favorite period drama ever, and I just love it. But one of the things that I think would be so cool to make is um, Amy's dress. In the show, she's always wearing purple dresses, but there's this one dress that, well, it would actually be cool to make all of her dresses because they're all really pretty, but there's this one dress that I really, really want to make someday. Like, it's my dream gown. Everyone always, like, talks about how everyone has their dream worst gown, and I'm like... I don't really know that much about Worth and I haven't like seen that many Worth gowns. I mean I looked up Worth gowns on the internet because I was like everyone has their dream Worth gown. I'm like what's my dream Worth gown? And I was looking through their gowns and I'm like these are all very beautiful and they're very nice but none of them sparked like oh I have to make that. You know what I mean? So like I was thinking what else would be my dream gown and um, I came across the fact can't talk. I thought about it and I was like, I think it would be so cool to make Amy Dort's dress and bring that like to life and just like basically bring my favorite period drama to life. It would just be the coolest thing. I'll insert photo here. Um, I think it's really pretty and I was there's certain times where I'm not into purple but right now I'm kind of into purple and I really like it so I would think that this is something that I would love to do someday. Not anytime soon. I don't have money to waste around on anything. I have no experience and I have no idea what I'm doing. So obviously I have to get better at sewing and stuff and save my money because right now I'm saving it for Ireland. So sorry if this video is really long. Sorry if it, this didn't make any sense. If it did, then I'm glad that you could understand my babbling. But um, if you like this video, give it a like, 
comment down below what you think of historical fashion. Also, hit the subscribe button because this is a new channel and there will be no subscribers and no one will probably see this. So, it will probably be like this for a long time, but if you ever come across this video, please subscribe, please turn the notification bell on. I would love to see you come back. I will try and make more videos in the future of me sewing and different things. Um, also, please vote in the comments down below on which name you would like this channel to be called, which one you think is better for this channel to be called. I have three different options. Option number one is Edwardian um, Seamstress because I really love the Edwardian area, era and I'm going to be sewing so there's that one. And then the second op option, I'm sorry I can't talk in this video. I can't just, I just can't talk in general but it's really worth for this video. Um, and then the second option is Little Seamstress which is seamstress because of the sewing thing and little because I just thought it might be cool to kind of incorporate little like as a little door. I don't know if that's stupid or if that doesn't make any sense. Let me know down in the comments below. And the third option was little Edwardian again because I like the Edwardian era and be era and because of the little door thing. I don't let me know if that's stupid or if you like any of those ideas or if you have a better idea for something that I could name this channel. But I hope you enjoyed this video and I'll see you in the next one. Bye! Mm -hmm.